I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 665, my gift guide for stuff I think you should get for yourself. All I ever wanted on my Christmas morning was you. All I, all I want for Christmas is you, baby. When Apple held its last event, I was disappointed at the lack of obvious innovation. And I still am, but the more we learned about the new 27-inch iMac, the more I wanted to learn. If you've been watching for at least a couple years, you know I keep predicting new cinema displays. The 30-inch cinema display that's still available, and has been for as long as I can remember, is old technology. It's big, it's bright, and its resolution is huge, 2560 by 1600. At the same time, it uses a lot of energy, it's thick, it's heavy, and it radiates enough heat to warm a room. Consider this. The new 27-inch iMac is almost as big as the 30-inch display. It's LED backlit, it's thinner, the resolution is almost as high, 2560 by 1440, and it costs $100 less than the 30-inch cinema display. And that, my Geek Brief friends, is amazing because the new 27-inch iMac can be used as an external display for another computer, or as a Mac with a 3 GHz Core 2 Duo processor, 4 GB of RAM, and a terabyte hard drive. I'm convinced this is the biggest bargain ever offered by Apple. It's the same price as Dell's UltraSharp 3008 WFP monitor. I have to give props to Jeff Mancuso, who figured out how awesome this is back in October and posted the details on expanddrive.com. During this holiday gift guide series, I've pointed out a few products that have improved my life this year. If I was Oprah, I would want to give every one of you a pogo plug. You get a pogo plug! You get a pogo plug! You get a pogo plug! <laughs> pogo plug has been upgraded, and it's better than ever. The new pogo plug has four USB ports and continues to make content stored on USB-connected drives available to you wherever you go in the world. It has a new and improved user interface that supports drag-and-drop file transfers. It's $129, and even though I can't get pogo plugs for everyone, I thought maybe you might want to get one for yourself. For the third year in a row, we're having a streaming Christmas party featuring Jeff Smith live. I'm more excited about this year than ever because we're going to be streaming live from my living room with a new HD TriCaster. It's going to be Tuesday night, December 22nd at 8 p.m., and I hope lots of you can join us. I'll give you more details as we get closer, but I'll be giving away a new Drobe OS to a random Twitter follower during that show. I haven't talked about the Drobo S yet on the brief, so let's do that now. The first Drobo with USB brought the protection of redundant storage to people who would never invest the time to learn to administer a RAID array. People loved it, but the one criticism I heard was that the first Drobo was slow. The second generation Drobo added FireWire 800 and changed the lives of photographers and video producers with an insatiable need for fast, abundant, safe storage solutions. The Drobo Pro was released to strong demand by photographers, video professionals, and small businesses who needed more space and more protection. The Drobo S is the newest release from Data Robotics. It has five SATA drive bays, USB 2.0, FireWire 800, and eSATA. Like the Drobo Pro, Drobo S can protect data even if two drives fail at the same time. Filled with 2TB SATA drives, Drobo S provides 7.3TB of redundant data protection. And if you want to win one, join Twitter and follow me, twitter.com slash Callie Lewis. I'll use twitran.com to select a random follower. My friend Mark Lowry sings a song, Some Things Never Change, and that's true about some of the things I recommend year after year. If you don't yet have an iFi card and you have a digital camera that uses SD cards, it's time. There are now several versions available, including cards that will geotag and share video. It's only those of you who are just joining us who might not know about iFi yet. It looks like any other SD card, but after you've set it up, it'll automatically upload photos to your favorite photo storage site to share or to keep private. Supported sites include Facebook, Flickr, MobileMe, PhotoBucket, Picasa, Shutterfly, YouTube, Walmart, Costco, Evernote, My Favorite Smug Mug, and lots more. And you can also set it up to upload to an FTP account. You can find out which iFi card is right for you at www.i.fi. Barnes & Noble has the Nook, Sony has a few different e-reader options. Lots of startups have forthcoming e-readers, but I'm firmly in the Kindle camp this Christmas and here's why. To me, an e-reader is only as good as the store that stands behind it. With digital music, we've seen stores come and go, and nothing is sadder than when a store goes and takes support for digital content with it. I like Kindle, one, because I like Kindle, but I really like Kindle because I like Amazon. When Jeff Bezos apologized very sincerely after the 1984 debacle and made it right for people who had purchased that book for their Kindles, it cemented my Kindle loyalty. Last week, Amazon announced that a new Kindle firmware upgrade would provide longer battery life and native support for PDFs. The PDF reader was the biggest missing element on the Kindle for me, so now I'm done. I'm sure the Nook is going to be great, but I know the Kindle is, so I'm sticking to it. 
You can find links to everything I've recommended on the Christmas shows at www.geekbrief.tv. Brief 665 was brought to you by Squarespace.com. Did you know Dane Cook uses Squarespace? My promo code GEEK is worth 12% savings when you sign up. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. But I also, because I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.